to my channel and welcome to the January Smart Art Box. So I'm hoping my camera doesn't fall. <laughs> so, and I hope you can hear me. So we're going to open this up and see what's inside. Stay open. Okay. So here is the pamphlet that's in every box. I love this. Oh, and we are, oops, what do we got here? An important update about your January Smart Art Box. This month we are experiencing a prolonged delay and receiving a special item included in January Smart Art Box, the glass dip pen. Okay, so it'll come in our February box. Um, yeah, not a problem. I have one. So we will just wait till February and I'll show you what comes in that box, but we'll use the one I already have in this box. So let's just pretend I have one. So we are doing <laughs> Chinese brush painting. Yes. Oh gosh. This is going to be really cool. I love this sort of thing. I'm showing you how to use the brushes and making different strokes. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that's one gorgeous painting. Oh. And let's see. Project pointers. And our prompts are crane, swim, panda, and jump. Crane, swim, panda, and jump. Oof, that's going to be fun to try and put into one picture. We'll figure it out. We'll put that over here for later. I can go through it, really read it. What have we got here? Goodness. Uh, all alternatives. Dual tip markers. Six pieces. Uh, there we go. I love the little calendar. This. Oh, it's a magnet too. Oh, that's nice. 2022, a year of creativity. How nice. I like that it's a magnet. That's nice. Dual tip markers. Sweet. I like the colors. They look like they're going to be nice and bright. Chinese brushes or Japanese brushes, however you want to. I have a lot, of, a lot of those hanging over there on the... A rack my father made me that are actual Japanese brushes. These are nice. Here's our sticker and a dum dum or a Tootsie Pop. Like that in the pretty. That's gonna go in our in our uh, planner. We got a palette. Nice. We like new palettes around here because I never <laughs> rinse out the old ones. Oh, I'm so bad. So bad. Uh, looks like, what are these? Inks. Goodness. Let's see. Ecoline. Liquid watercolors. This looks like it's in blue. And it just, it doesn't say what color, but it looks like it must be blue. And black. Bet you these are yellow and red. What am I thinking about? <laughs> and the last one. It's a red liquid watercolor. Oh, I've always wanted to try them. And you know we're going to save this, right? <laughs> For textures. Let's see. One of these. Over here. And then what is this? Bamboo Mixed Media by Henny Mule. Look at this size. 15.3 by 25 centimeters. What was that in, English, in uh, American? 
see what kind of paper this is going to Bamboo paper? Oh, come on off of there. The shape is interesting. Natural line. Many years hanging. Has been consistently working towards finding more environmentally friendly and sustainable ways to produce paper. Bamboo is definitely one of them because it grows so fast. This stuff is thick. Cool. Okie dokie. Let me. Put some of this paper away. And uh, yeah, I think for our uh, our prompts, this is going to be quite interesting. Um, crane, swim, panda, and jump. How do you. Hmm. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Okay. And they want this in a Japanese style. I can see the crane, the swim, the panda. Jump is going to be the hard one. So, all right, let me go ahead and clean all this up and I will come back and we will make some art.
um, our Smart Art Box for January, and these watercolor, liquid watercolors, I'm, I really like them. They're very pigmented, which is nice, but they blend well together, so you can make new colors. I mean, you can literally make, like, any color you want out of these three, which is really cool, and any hue that you want, which is really cool. And I'm really liking these. They work well with water. So yeah, I'm I'm impressed with those. I really am. Yeah, those are really nice. And I was definitely having some issues <laughs> trying to get my uh, dip pen to work. This is not from Smarter. This I got this off a of Wish a long time ago. And uh, yeah, it took me a little bit to get it to to actually work. And I don't know if it was pen, the paper, or the liquid watercolors. I'm not sure. Because I know this works really well with ink. That's like regular, um, regular ink. But it was having a hard time with, with the liquid watercolors. So I don't know if it was that or just, just me. But, uh, yeah. And I'm, I'm really, I really like, this paper is amazing. I mean, <laughs> nothing on the back. And I saturated that with a lot of water and still nothing on the back. So bamboo paper, hey. So yeah, I'm I'm really really liking this this box. The brushes, they lost a lot of hairs in the process. Didn't use this one, but I used these two. And uh, yeah, I lost a lot of hairs, but that's to be expected actually. Um these brushes do have a tendency, these, this style of brush do have a tendency to lose a lot of uh, bristles when you use them, if you, you know, so you gotta really take care of these. Um, that's why they have these little hoops so you can hang them upside down to dry them so that the water doesn't go back up in the barrel and you lose more hairs. So, um, yeah, just a little tip for y'all. And uh, the palette was awesome. So I can't say anything bad except for, you know, I can't wait to get they're dependent to kind of see the difference. So when February's box comes, I will do a demo using these same uh, watercolor and the same pad so we can see how it works. So yeah, that's this month's. We got our, our crane, he's swimming, and our panda is jumping. So I think we got it all covered. So I'm happy and I hope you had a good time watching and until my next video, I sure do love you bunches. Bye.